Yeah. So, so you can say this is your Tong Chow Tensioner. Yeah. Right? And there's two of these in the FA20 engine. What they have is a spring on the back of the piston uh, and also oil fed. So mm -hmm. as oil pressure increases, it pushes the tension around. As the time and chain stretches, right, it takes up anywhere. So it, it can travel in that direction. There is a ratchet mechanism here to stop it from traveling back and slackening the chain off and the chain will flick, right? This mechanism can fail and the piston pushes back too far and the chain's got too much slack. So what I'd recommend in a race engine is having all of this still there, but putting a solid tube in the back here to take up, to stop the piston from traveling back. So you fix the... Yeah, you still have Distance. all of the mechanisms working in the tensioner, the oil, the, the spring, the whole lot. But you you can't rely on the ratchet mechanism here to stop the piston from pushing back. What you do is put a solid tube. Oh, a stopper or something, do you? A stopper on so the, the back So the spring of it. still is preloading it. It can still go and that way, out. Yep. but it can't go back too far. Yes. You still want it to go back a little bit for uh, change Expansion and contraction and all that sort of stuff. You under heat wanna, cycles. You don't, yeah, under yeah. heat cycles. You don't want to okay. be pushing it too hard and overstretching the chain. Yes. Because it will damage the chain. Yeah. But what you want is limit the amount of travel that piston can go back. Uh, and okay. you can limit it by, give it, I don't know, a few mil. Give it four mil or something like that travel back. Mm -hmm. But no excess, no more than that. So when you assemble it, you measure it, you push, you put your chain in, you let your piston go set everything up mm -hmm. and then you measure your distance from there to there right and what you do is you make a, a, sleeve, a tube or, a sleeve for yeah. the back of it that pushes against this piston here mm -hmm. and insert it and then push the piston in you can pull them apart um but give it so make the sleeve three or four mil shorter here so this can still travel back a little bit Got but it. it can't go too far back yes so under a, under high on a high revs high lows high power there is a chance yeah. that this piston is pushing back chain gets too much slack and yes. destroys everything. Okay, but that that's definitely something you should do on a high revving engine, and do it to both tensioners. Okay, and then also <laughs> if you want um, in in the variable cam sprockets. Yep. Pretty bad drawing, but say for I get there, the idea, and you get forty mil movement either way in here. Yep. If you don't want to make up new cam sprockets, you lock that up with the, the sprocket part. So they're all fixed. So now. it's fixed cam timing. Fixed then. cam timing. Or even better, getting a custom made, four custom made sprockets made. So what's the issue there? One on your running well, high power. Reps, yeah. Yeah, it's uh, it's fluctuating too much and not staying constant. As in, yeah. It's so your on. timing's coming out. It's running you get the wrong timing, are you? Yes. Yeah, right. So a high revving engine, I'd probably do away with the barrel cam timing. It's worth okay. a try anyway. Okay, thanks.